Hello everyone, Patricia here. It is Saturday, December 31st, 2016. And today I'll be doing a video on a few items. I'll give you an update for my October to December. A recap of my 2016 projects, which will be FOs and FFOs. My plans for 2017. And then finally, my plans for January to March, so more of a detail. So in October, I continued working on this Dimensions Gold Collection it's called Winter Impressions. And I finished this on October the 10th. I had started it on the 18th, no, sorry, August 8th. And here is a picture of what it should look like. And this is my completed project. It is done on 16 count Dove Gray Ada. And I'll just zoom in a little bit. We have French knots here. It is full cross stitches with two threads. Five symbols have blended threads, so one of each. Half cross stitches have either two or three threads and three symbols have blended, so two of one color and one of one color, so three threads. Back stitching is done with one thread and there is an exception for the light blue which is uh, let's see, so that is right here um, and over here. That is done with two threads. The and let's see, charcoal. Oh, so that will be the horse over here, the reins. That is done with three. The eyes for the passengers and the driver are done with one thread of brown and the snowflakes so the French knots are done with two. The finish size is 16 by 12 inches or 41 by 30 centimeters. It's oval shaped And the design is by Alan Maley. And I'll have be I'll be having this professionally framed sometime in 2017. My second completion is from this Jan Lin. It's called Cottage Trio. And it is this one. It is called Half Timbered Cottage. This is the picture of it. And this is it completed. It's worked on 14 count Ada. It has full cross stitches, three quarter and half stitches, and back stitches. I started this three years ago and I've just I decided it needed to be done. So this is it completed. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. And I still have two more to do. And my other completion for the three month period is this Lan Art. It is number, what number is it? 33641. It's autumn. It's the picture of it. And this is my completed project done on 36 count linen. It's worked with DMC threads, full crosses, and backstitch. Um, one thread normally was used except for the black so that the hair comes out a bit more and the shoes and that is two threads. So those are my completions 
from October to December. I also have three whips that I'll be carrying forward into 2017. The first one is this gold collection and it's called the Treasure Time. This is done on 16 count. So this is what the picture should look like. And this is where I am. There are full cross stitches and a half. I started this uh, at the end of November. So this will be brought, as I say, brought forward into 2017. My second whip is again from Jan Lin Cottage Trio, and it is. This one here, it's called Thatched Cottage, done on 14 count Ada. Finish size is 6 by 6 and this is where I am on this one. And the next one is the Lanart. This is Spring, number 33639. It's done on 36 count Linen. And this is where I am on this one. DMC threads again, one over two, and this will be brought forward as well. So now I'm just going to do a recap of my projects from 2016. I had six FF uh, finished, finally finished objects, no, sorry, six finished objects and six FFOs. The, these are in no particular order. Um, this is Design Works. It's called Cheap Wine and it's on 14 count Ada. So for the, I should say the first um, six I'm going to show you are the finished objects. Second one is Lanart 33640 Summer. Done on 36 count linen. And I believe the finished size is 13 by 7 inches. This is from Leisure Arts. It's ice cream done on 22 count hard anger. And I've just showed you the dimensions gold winter impressions, 16 count Ada. Lanart Autumn 33641 again that I just showed you and from Jan Lin Cottage Trio down on 14 count Ada. I have two FFOs. This one is a Maya kit called Kasuka Shrine. I finished this earlier in the year and just got this um, framed in October of this year 2016. I chose a red frame, blue suede mat, very light, more of a grayish, and then red inside. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. And my second FFO for this year is Design Works Daisies and Vaws, and I had this framed in November. Again, I uh, chose a suede matting, gold frame, and it turned out quite large actually, but I'm very pleased with how it turned out. So those are my finished projects for this year. As I say, I had eight in total, six FOs and two FFOs. Uh, right now I'll be showing you my projects that I have planned for 2017. Sorry for the glare, it's a very cloudy day today. We'll be getting rain probably this afternoon, so I've had to put on the light. The first one is a Maya kit. It's called the Japanese Garden. This will be done on 18 count Ada. 
and this is what it looks like. I have, uh, don't know what months I'll be doing it, but um, my plans are to get it done in 2017. In addition to that, I have this Lanart one. It's the winter one, and it is number 33642. Another Lanart. This is called Traditional African Jewelry, 14 Count Ada. I haven't started any of these. I'd like to do this one. Uh, it's called, it's a Teresa Wensler's Egyptian Sampler. Now I'll be doing this on linen. There's some specialty stitches which I've never done and beading on here. I've had a few, I've done a few kitchen from the kitchen stitching and I'd like to do the tomatoes and what else? Um, Oh, the bread and the onions. This one is from my mother. It's uh, a sunset kit called French Flower Shop. I actually bought it for her, but um, she's 90 now and she uh, has no interest in finishing it, so I told her I would finish it. She's done quite a bit, actually. So I'd like to complete this for her this year and, and get it framed for her. And I, it looks like it's done on 14 count. In addition, I've got this uh, UFO from a Buccella needlepoint. It's called New England Fall Scene and it's a printed needlepoint. I've done like half a dozen stitches on it, so I'd like to get that done. And another UFO is a pillow that I started. I don't think last year, maybe it was last year. I seem to have lost interest on it, but I like to complete that as well. So, oh, sorry, and I have one more. I have a petty point here that I've had for decades. Um, so I'd like to complete that as well. I haven't even started this one. So in addition to what I've just shown, my January to March plans are to work on and hopefully finish the Dimensions Gold Treasure Time. So that's a carry forward like I mentioned before. This uh, Jan Lin Cottage Trio and the Lanart one as well. So those are my plans. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I hope everyone had a good festive season. Wishing everyone a Happy New Year with May it be healthy and get a lot of stitching in. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.